Hey everybody, so I said I was going to be coming on earlier, doing a live stream about the update regarding the Amber Alert for Halo that was put out this morning. I've got some audio issues, so hopefully this will work. I'm not sure if it will or not, but um, before I show the press conference that's been up for quite a few hours, um, I just want to clear up something. So I had been given the update right as soon as she had been located in the first update got put out. I obviously went over to, I was on both New York State Police Department's Facebook page, as well as Schenectady's Facebook page, uh, law enforcement. And I took the update, right, as I always do, updated on all of the different places that I had shared out. And then I wait a little bit, went to check back just to see had more information come out. Typically, there's always at least something that will come out in regards to how come the Ember Alert even, what exactly happened with it that led to it or how is it resolved. You hear a little something more. And so I just went to check back in on it and had seen that, in fact, um, the original update that she had been located safe and in good health was couldn't be further from the truth and that she had actually lost her life and so i was like hold on how does that happen that that's quite a big jump so i took a look further and uh, had seen from a news station that had just put out something thank goodness right and they clarified that it had been deleted. Their original post that had been put up, and it was through New York State Police Department, their original post was put up and then deleted and changed or edited. And that it had changed to she had been located maybe safe. Um, I cannot recall right off the top of my head. I don't know where I put the article. Um, but she had been located and taken to the hospital, uh, but that they didn't have further information at that time, whatnot. And so then I looked uh, at the current update, which I was hearing was that she didn't survive. She didn't make it. And I just want to show. So here is a screenshot. Thankfully, it still showed up when I went back because it didn't show up on my Facebook group but it still showed up on my Facebook page, my normal, my normal page. And so as you could see, uh, that that's where it came from. So I know that there are people that have questions and I'm obviously not happy about it either because, well, hello. Um, I would imagine I could believe and trust there is accurate information being put out by law enforcement. So hence why I would go ahead and share that. And, and I've said before, we, sometimes they get it wrong. Sometimes even they have to edit, re go back, take away what they said. They didn't, that isn't exactly the case. Here's the new information. And so this is a perfect case of it. A little bit too drastic for my liking to say safe and in good health when in fact she was located. She wasn't in good health. And ultimately, once taken to the hospital, did end up passing away rather quickly. So uh, you couldn't get a bigger jump, actually, <laughs> in the two. And so I'm uh, not exactly pleased, right? Because then I don't want to put out anything that isn't accurate. Um, I, I know that it's no fault of my own. And I corrected it as soon as I ended up coming across it. But it's still, you know, upsetting. Um, so either way, just to clear up any confusion, I know that people are asking, like, where is that coming from? Or I don't know who even said that or who, it wasn't just someone making it up. It wasn't just people getting wrong information or I don't know. Um, New York state hasn't, uh, actually I should take another look again. As far as I know, New York state has not come out and issued any kind of apology or explanation as to how they managed to get that information wrong. Nah, so I really don't know. Um, let's take a look real quick, actually, to new. 
Uh, I'm actually looking on a different side here. Let's see. Uh, no, they just ended up sharing out the news release from Schenectady Police Department. <clears throat> and that was eight hours ago. And so Schenectady's was news release, police search, searching for the missing 11 month old infant. Update, the Amber Alert for Halo has been canceled. Halo was located during a search conducted by multiple agencies in the area of General Electric campus and she was transported to the hospital. At this time, we do not have any update on Halo's condition. An investigation is being conducted and we will provide updates as they become available. That's it, that's all for what New York State has shared as their most recent. And I'm looking at this too. Yeah, and the one that they had edited or uh, perhaps possibly delete it all together and then put up a new one. Let me see. To make, I don't know if it says edited on there, if it has been. I don't know. Either way, it was 11 hours ago where they had put, instead of the one that you're looking at right now, where it, it says um, sh update, update, Amber Alert canceled. That still says that. And then it says Halo has been located. That's it. That's all. No longer does it have safe and in good health. And so that's all for what New York State has on their current social media page. And then when I go to Schenectady Police Department, um, they also haven't put out additional information on their page. But that's not where it ends. So I'm actually showing you the press conference right now. So let me remove this. Again, the press conference came out, oh my gosh, like four hours ago. I don't know if you guys could see the update when I when I updated everything. Um, but yeah, it's been a good number of hours that, that this has been out. And I said I was trying to set up my stream. So without further ado, let me drop this down. Just wanted to clarify that. Clear it up just so everyone understands how maybe there was any kind of confusion. At least on my end, I can explain. I don't know on New York State's behalf. And they haven't said anything further, so I don't know. I kind of hope that they would maybe at least say I'm sorry about that. But there is also law enforcement that's done worse, like putting up photos of, of <laughs> where young children that have lost their life, they're, where they're found and them in the picture. So I suppose it could be worse, right? But here we go. So my name is Ryan Matron. It's R-Y-A-N-M-A-C-H-E-R-O-N-E. -E. I'm a lieutenant with the Schenectady Police Department. So today we're going to be providing just a, a really brief briefing on the status of this incident. Um, about 11 o'clock last night, a little bit after 11 last night, we were alerted to a possible missing uh, infant in the area of the GE campus here in the city of Schenectady. Officers responded and uh, began investigating, obviously, the incident on scene. Also began searching the area. Throughout the night and into this morning, uh, we began receiving assistance from multiple agencies throughout the area, including the New York State Police, the FBI, the Albany County Sheriff's Office, the Schenectady County Sheriff's Office, the New York State Fire Department, also the New York State DEC, and uh, the Schenectady Fire Department as well, in searching the area for the infant, the infant's name is Halo R. Branson. During the search this afternoon of the area, which still centered around that area between Hillhurst Park and the GE campus here in downtown, Halo was located by a search team of officers. She was rushed to Ellis Hospital by a Mohawk ambulance and the Smithville Fire Department. Deciding to report today. This is a very criminal investigation. Because of that, there's not a lot of information we can obviously tell at this time. It's going to be treated as a criminal investigation. The New York State Police are working side by side with us on this at this point. And we're in the stages of the investigation itself. So we're just in the beginning stages. We'll be providing more information when we get it. We're interviewing multiple people. Um, 
we've asked for the public's assistance and we've received it. We've put out a call for if anybody had ring doorbell cameras, any type of outside surveillance, if they could please provide that information to us. Um, and we also put a link up on our Facebook page and people have been sending that information in. We also have our tips line, which is 518-788-6566. People have been calling that as well. So at this time, we don't have a lot more information that we can obviously give. It's very early in the investigation, unfortunately. We have now reports of terrible things. Lieutenant, did she live in that area, in that vicinity? And who reported her missing? So we were alerted to, to the area. I can't go into the details as to report her missing. Um, I can just confirm that we were, we were alerted to go to that area. And that's where we originally responded. I'm unaware. I don't know what, what the state police, we, we've been putting out information on our Facebook page throughout the day today. And so she was found outside in the elements, is that correct? I can't go into the details as to where we found her, but it would be in that area that we, we where the investigation center from the beginning. Was it on the hillside? I can't, I can't say. I'm sorry. It's about 12 hours from the time we got the report, the Amber Alert. Um, what, what, what happened in that time period and, and why not until 10 o'clock? Sure. Certainly there's other components of the investigation that we were looking into at that time. Uh, the decision was made this morning to then go forward with an Amber Alert as well, based on where the investigation was. So that's what we're releasing the Amber Alert as well. So to look at Anything specific that triggered the decision they can speak on? I asked earlier uh, regarding the child's caretakers. Uh, what is that situation looking like? Uh, who are the caretakers? Um, it's not something we'd be able to comment on, but again, we are interviewing multiple individuals at this time. Any leads in the investigation? I would say it's it's early in the investigation, but yes, yeah, we have, we have uh, lots of individuals who are reporting to the What was the initial contact made to police? Did someone call? Did someone come to a the station? Did someone flag out an officer? A uh, call came into the two last night. But nobody in custody, nobody under arrest at this point. You're just speaking. With at this time, we're doing, we're speaking with, with multiple people. Just try to confirm uh, nature of this uh, investigation homicide. It started as a, a missing persons case, um, and right now it's treating it as a criminal case, but to, to quantify what, what charges will be with the tour. Was she found wearing the same clothes that she was reported missing in the last time she was seen? Not yet. Okay, and do you know, I know around 9 o'clock last night was the last time she was seen. Do you know who she was seen by at 9 o'clock? Uh, I do not. I do not. I know that based on the information that brought the investigation, that's about the time period looking for surveillance footage from. And is she from Schenectady? I don't know. So, would you say that's why you were able to locate the, the baby in this case? The infant, the, the infant was located on the, the top. So, remember, obviously, it's a, a valuable tool for us in this case. It was officers that were searching the area. What led you to the area that you a lot of people just searching in that general area yeah, see, to the body. I think a lot of different parents, so obviously tips um, the information that we originally received kind of centered our, our, our search around that area. Um, and there were a great deal of, of resources being deployed throughout that area. Police aviation was out today. Multiple drones were in the air. Multiple canine units were helping throughout the night as well, searching the area. Is that area known to uh, to, keep, to individuals in the community of, of people being there at times, or I guess how widely is that? No, that's not. Yeah, no, that's not an area that I think was any of any high concern for us. And obviously, when the Amber Alert was sent out, there was a concern that she was in danger. Correct. Correct. How much she pronounced it? Oh, yeah. It's your job. You do Amber Alerts all the time. You do missing person investigation. What is it like working in this force to have to still announce a, a baby child? It's probably the worst thing I've ever had. Most likely. Can you elaborate? It's um, 
I don't know that there's much to elaborate on. I mean, I'm, I'm standing here before you to announce the death of an 11 month old child. There's nothing good about that. Is this one of the youngest cases of this kind of Amber Alert that you've seen in Schenectady? Recent memory, yes. Thank you. I'll take the mic off you. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course. Yeah. Oh, give me a wrong. Oops, did I knock something off? Okay, so obviously that was super terrible audio, as we could hear, <clears throat> it's pretty bad. I do want to bring you over to Schenectady's page, though. And that way you can actually scan this code if, in fact, you're in the area and you haven't seen it already. There is a QR code that they provided. And so I just want to put that straight up onto the screen and that can be scanned they are looking for video anybody that may have video so this or door doorbell footage anything like that so here is the qr code and then this was the one when they updated that they put out and i wanted to better hear because they did asked the question <clears throat> something about new york state i'm not sure what the question was exactly um I, i'm not sure but i i heard him say that they schenectady the police department had been putting out updates on their <clears throat> social media and so i was just curious i wish i could have heard what that question was exactly um and then i'll bring you over here right quick because this may in fact allow us to hear a little bit more just give me one second and bring you over here. Okay. Mm I hate it. Now, I have heard uh, people that claim that they're family um, or people that claim they live in the area, but I don't feel comfortable to be going into it. I mean, it was put up on somebody who shared the Amber Alert and the, it was put in the comment section. But until police come out, <laughs> uh -huh, I don't feel comfortable to share just because who really knows exactly for sure? Uh, I don't know. And even, even so, even with what might possibly have caused the death, they would obviously need to do the autopsy to confirm that for sure. So, but let me play this for us. The Leverett fired shots from a handgun at another person during a fight. Please hold. We're pulling back on this. I'm not exactly sure why it's doing that. That's really weird. Because it does not seem... Here. And we're going to reload the whole thing. All right. Let's give it a go again. We have a sad update from outside the Schenectady Police Department. We're learning that Halo Branton has died. That information just coming out uh, just a couple hours ago at this press briefing that happened at 4.30. Um, police tell us that she was roughly 11 months old. Her first birthday would have been next month, April 14. And police also telling us that this quickly went from a missing persons case to a criminal case. But during this press briefing, not many details were given because it did just happen a couple of hours hours ago. We're still trying to learn how Brandon was found on the General Electric property and what was the cause of her death and if police found her still alive. Questions that could not be answered today. Uh, but here is what we do 
Juno at this time. Uh, we are alerting that she first went missing around 9.15 um, last night on 12th Street and Campbell Avenue. That was when the last time she was actually found seen. Police and Amber Alert was issued this morning around 10.30 a.m., but it was canceled just a few hours later around 1 p.m. Police searched near areas where Branton was reported missing, including Hillhurst Park, and found her near General Electric's property. I asked Connected Police Lieutenant Ryan Masheron if Branton was still alive when they found her. He told me he could not answer that question at this time. Branton was taken to Ellis Hospital, and Lieutenant Masheron says the Amber Alert tips and the sheer amount of resources and departments from all across the capital region who showed up to try and find Branton and did find her, it did help them. I think it was through a lot of different components. So obviously tips um, and the information that we originally received kind of centered our, our, our search around that area. Um, and there were a great deal of, of resources being deployed throughout that area. We had a uh, New York State Police Aviation was out today. Multiple drones were in the air. Multiple canine units were helping throughout the night as well, searching the area. Lieutenant Mascheron says nobody is in custody as we speak. No one has been arrested, but they are interviewing multiple people for this investigation. And just after that press briefing today, we also spoke to a woman who says she is a family member of Halo Branton, and she told us some of the concerns she had just before Branton's death. That is coming up live at 6.15. Reporting here live outside the Connected Police Department, I'm Tessa Bentulin. Kumi, let's throw it back to you for now. Tessa, thank you very much. And now back to that breaking news in Schenectady, that troubling case where a baby is dead after an alleged abduction. Tessa Bentulin has been following the latest on this tonight. There was a news conference late this afternoon. Tessa, what have you learned? Hi, Kumi. Uh, the latest here is that we've learned that Halo Branton has died again. She was roughly 11 months old. Her birthday would have been next month, April 14. Uh, we've learned this during that press briefing just outside here of the Schenectady Police Headquarters uh, just around 430 this afternoon. And after that press briefing, we did speak to a woman uh, named Nyree. She says she is the cousin of Branton's father. She said she had concerns about the instability in the family on the mother's side. Uh, we do know that Branton, Halo Branton, was last seen around 9.15 last night on 12th Street and Campbell Avenue. Um, she said the family was temporarily living nearby. Uh, police say an Amber Alert was issued this morning around 10.30 a.m., but it was canceled just a few hours later, around 1 p.m. Police searched near areas where Branton was reported missing, including Hillhurst Park, and she was found near General Electric. Um, she said there was some upheaval in the family. She did not have many nice things to say about the mother. And she said for the father of Branton, her cousin, um, he is still in Ellis Hospital where Branton was taken before we learned that she passed away. Um, and this is what uh, the cousin, Nairi, had to say about her baby cousin, uh, Branton. This is crazy. I just hope they find justice for her because she was 10 months old. She couldn't even talk. She was beautiful. She was charming. She was always, she was very intelligent. You know what I mean? And she looks just like her father. She has a brother. He's, I think he's about three now. Like we have, my cousins have kids. They all grown up together. That's why I said my one cousin had her, had the baby and her at the same time. So they were going to have, be one together. You know what I mean? And it's sad because she's not even going to be able to celebrate her first birthday. Now, we also do not know the cause of death for Branton. And during the time frame that Branton was with, missing, we do want to let you know we did have very bad weather. News Channel 13 did call on alert day uh, for last night. We had a lot of rain. We had uh, a lot of wind, as we do now. And it was also very cold last night. We'll have the latest details coming up live at 9 and 11 o'clock on My4 and New Channel 13 Live at 11. But for now, reporting here live outside Schenectady Police Department, I'm Tessa Bentulin. Kumi, back to you. Tessa, thank you. Test drive the all-new Drive Garvey Hyundai. Fully renovated and up. Yeah, well, um, I feel like uh, she's, just, uh, she's trying to give you a tidbit there without without given any additional information because of the fact that it's not known for certain and 
I mean, mm. yeah, I'm, I'm gonna withhold on it as well. Um, because it, I mean, <laughs> I'd say I'm shocked all these other channels aren't covering it, uh, but they're, they're too busy stuck on a case or two that they don't even realize that there was another Amber alert for a little one and that the little one lost their life. But I'm sure once they realize it, they will be all over it, like wait on race and they will just be digging into all the things that I'm not willing to show because we don't know right now. But I will give an update when an update comes from law enforcement. I'm going to keep a heavier eye on Schenectady Police Department right now as opposed to um, an eye on New York State Police Department. I would assume um, at this point, I mean, I don't know who would take over at this point. Schenectady for sure. So I'm, I'm just going to keep an eye on both, but um, possibly rely a little more on on Schenectady but just wanted to put up the photo of Halo as we head out but I'll give you updates as I learn more um keep uh, the family in your thoughts prayers good vibes all the positive things thank you for your time everyone talk to you soon